Hi, in this video, I want to give an overview of how filterable portfolio works in Minimum Pro. Uh, I'm currently looking at uh, the portfolio archive page of um, the Minimum Pro's official uh, theme demo. So as you can see, the entries, the portfolio entries appear um, in two column grid like this with the title and the uh, featured image. So this is the uh, enhancement uh, with filterable portfolio that is the focus of today's um, screencast. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, the filter row. These are all the portfolio type uh, custom taxonomies. And we can see all the portfolio entries on page load. So when I wanna filter the portfolio items by mountains type I can just click on that and with a smooth animation uh, we see only the portfolio entries that have been uh, categorized under that particular mountains uh, portfolio post type and similarly these are the nature entries and these are the peaceful entries so if we take a look at the back end um, you can see that uh, now there is an extra column types So just like the default categories, uh, you can assign one or more um, portfolio type to each portfolio entry. So when we hover on uh, any of these uh, portfolio entries, we can see the title and an excerpt. Uh, with a more link and the entire item is a hyperlink which links to the uh, single entry so clicking on that will take us to the single entry and at the bottom if you have noticed uh, it shows the portfolio post type that that particular uh, entry belongs to so in this case uh, this has been categorized as a peaceful post type so clicking on this will take us to uh, this terms that is peaceful um, taxonomy portfolio type taxonomy so here we can see all the entries that have been categorized under that particular post type and uh, there's a link that takes us back to the full portfolio so this is the portfolio custom post type archive and we're also adding support for the archive headline and intro text. So in the back end, you can go to archive settings and then enter these uh, here so that they would appear here. You can add some introduction. Um, let us take a look at how the portfolio uh, archive page uh, behaves uh, responsibly. I've just pressed command alt m in uh, firebug uh, which brings up the responsive design view and uh, as you can see I'm looking at 1280 pixels this would be the I think 13 inch Mac uh, screen size and here we can see that the entries are appearing in the three column grid let me go to iPad uh, landscape size that would be 1024 so when we come to handhelds that is iPads and uh, iPhones uh, I have decided to make the title excerpt and the read more link actually appear below the image uh, so it, it's appearing like that and if we take a look at iPad portrait it's gonna look like this let's go to um, iPhone 5 5s landscape so here you can see that the entries uh, will start to appear in just one uh, item per row and 320 would be any iPhone uh, port rate
So essentially, as we reduce the width of the browser, uh, the three uh, columns per row become two, and finally they become one.